Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Java web application project which is entitled as Connecting Social Media to E-Commerce. So before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So today's world, everyone is using internet and especially they are engaged in social media. So social media makes advertisements in their platform to promote the products. But here in our project, we are going to integrate the social media with the e-commerce. So generally we know that e-commerce is an electronic commerce where the products can be sold out in the internet. So here in the social media itself, we are going to integrate the e-commerce and the user can able to view the products and they can able to purchase it. So what about the existing system? So in the existing system also, there are few social uh, media with the e-commerce but the problem is like it does not recommends the products personalized for example it will show the all the products to every user but here we are going to make some personal recommendations according to the users so there are some set of rules can be given by the admin side so it can recommend the product to, to a particular user and the particular user can see the products and also we have some review based uh, features where user can see the reviews and they can able to analyze and purchase the product if they needed it so here first let us see the abstract of the project so here you can see the abstract which mentions the title connecting social media to e-commerce which is developed using java and mysql and also uh, it has the basic features of the social media like uh, seeing the profile accepting the sending friend request accepting friend request those details all, all the things are available in it and we have the administrative control where the products can be updated according to the some set of rules also can be given it and here you can see the personalized product recommendations can be set according to the features like age criteria and etc and also the user can able to decide it according to the features and also they can also give the reviews after the purchase of the project so those details will be mentioned in the abstract part and in our existing system as mentioned so in the earlier systems uh, there is no correct way of uh, connecting social media to e-commerce website and also even if it is available it does not give personalized recommendation and here also there is a two-way review system uh, which is not available in the existing system so these are all the disadvantages of the existing system this is all listed out here and coming to the proposed system as mentioned so we are going to develop the connecting social media to e-commerce which addresses the several shortcomings of the existing system so here in the proposed system we use the uh, seamless and unified user experience by combining the social networking functionality with the e-commerce features of it so those details which I have mentioned has been listed out here. And let us see the advantages of the proposed system. So these are all the advantages of the proposed system that has been listed out here. And coming to the system architecture, as mentioned, we'll be having the e-commerce admin and the user. So e-commerce admin will be adding the products and they'll be setting up the product recommendation settings and they can see the product details. And here in the user part, they can see the view, pro they can profile and they can see, they, they can give requests for the friends and accept for friends and they can see the recommendations Implementations and they can see view product details by product and give the ratings for it and these are all the modules of the project and coming to the system requirements the hardware requirements and the software requirements so here we are going to use coding language as java and front end part is jsp html css and javascript and id that we are going to use apache netbeans id 20 and the database is mysql So now let us see the execution of the project. So first open the Apache NetBeans IDE 20. So now let us import the project into the NetBeans IDE. So just go to the file menu and click open project. Now you need to go to the source code location where you have pasted the code. So I'm into the project for source code location where you can find the connecting social media. So just select this and then click the open project. Now kindly wait till the complete project is being loaded into the NetBeans ID. It takes some time, few seconds. So you need to wait for it. Meanwhile, let us attach the database in the MySQL. So just go to the MySQL administrator, log in with the credentials of username and password as root and root and click OK. 
now in the left side panel you can see the restore option just select this restore option now in the right side you can see the open backup file just select it now go to the source code location where you can find the database folder just select it and then click the database now click the start restore so now you can see the restore operation was finished successfully message and click close so now we can close this mysql administrator part because we have successfully attached the database in it so coming back to the netbeans ide you can see it is going to finish it is 99 percentage so now it is completed and so now let us execute it so just right click it and then click the run button So now you can see the authentication required that is username and password of the Tomcat as it is admin and admin I have given and click OK. So now you can see it is transferred to the browser part. So now you can see the home screen or the welcome screen of the project with the project title connecting social media to e-commerce. So here you can see the user login. So as I am a new user, I don't have any user login. So first let me sign up. So just click this sign up. So it will be navigated to the sign up page where you need to give the details. So I'll create some three users initially. So just let me create the first user as JP. So first user I have given as JP and here you can see I have given my qualification as Mtech and given the interest as programming and these details. I will tell you why I am specifically saying this because according to this the recommendation will be happening. So let me click register and register it. So you can see the registration is successful. So let me give sign up and let me create another user called Alice. So now I have created second user Alice. So I have given the interest as fashion and click register. So the registration is success. So I am given uh, JP uh, user as programming and Alice as fashion. Now let me create another user uh, as uh, Bob. and uh, age as uh, 25 education qualification as uh, beater interest as uh, interest as uh, reading books so i have given the image for it and registered so it is also registered so now i have created three user so different details for the three users so now let me log in and show you the user part so first user let me log in with the registered username and password so now you can see uh, the user login once after user login you can see with the user name and showing it as online and is showing the home page details view profile the user can able to view the profile of their details which cover they given in the registration and they can find the friends who all the friends are available you can see who all the users are available you can just see their list and you can send the request and you can edit the profile for example if I wanted to change my age as uh, 38 let me click an update so now you can see the profile is updated with my age 38 and if you wanted to share some photos on the timeline you can able to do it 
and you can see the view, view request if, if you are getting some friend request you can view those details and you can see the recommendations currently there is no any recommendation because we have not added any product in the admin site so these basic functionalities of a social networking site has been developed here so now let me go to find friends and let me give a request to uh, alice so now if you go to find friend you can see waiting for approve because alice is not at approved so it is waiting for approve so now let me log out from this part and now let me go to the alice login and if you go to the home page view profile all the things which are which i mentioned earlier the same only so if you go to view request so now you can see the request is from the user jp so the, this user can be able to confirm or ignore this request i'm just giving confirm so now uh, if you go to the view rec your recommendation it is empty so we have seen the second user also now let me go to the third user bob So in the Bob, you can see that uh, there is no any request and you can see recommend. So all the three recommendation part is empty because we have not added any product into it. So now let me go to the e-commerce part and adding the product to it. So just go to the e-commerce here between the e login and the sign up menu. You can see the e-commerce just select it. So it will be logging it will navigated to the e-commerce login page. So here you need to enter the username and password as e-commerce only both are e-commerce only all on small letter without any space and just click sign in so now it will be navigated to the welcome screen or the home screen of the e-commerce site so admin this is the admin of the uh, page so here you can see the e-commerce home and you can see the recommendations where in the recommendation part so here we have the product recommendation by demographic attributes and text attributes so uh, we have given we have already created three users so i'll show you a sample with the three products so already we have created the uh, first user with the programming interest so let me uh, so i'm not going to give these details i'll just give the interest as programming i'll give the product as python i'll just select an image python image i'll just give a description of the python here and let give the product rate as one dollars and give upload so now if you go to recommend details you can see the product that we have uploaded and let me go to the recommend again i'll give uh, again the interest as programming i'll give the product name as c plus plus i'll just select an image of c plus plus you can give any product this is only a sample i'm going to show you so that you can get an idea about it i'll just give a description about it and give the product rate as one dollars and upload and you can see the product details let me go to the recommendation so second user i have given as uh, fashion so for that i'll give different attribute for example i'll give gender as female so here i'll i'm giving all other things as empty i'll just upload a necklace image i'll just enter a description of this necklace product and enter the product rate as some around five dollars and click upload and if you go to recommend details you can see the third product is also added so now let me go to the recommendation to add another product so finally we have other user for reading books so now let me enter the in process reading book i'll just enter the product name as comic or spider-man comic book I'll just enter an image for it I'll just enter a description for it and just enter the product price as uh, $2 and click upload and if you go to recommend details you can see all the products that I've added now let me log out so now let me go to the user login so each login earlier we have seen every user does not had any recommendation because there was no product available now the products are available so now if you go to view recommendation you can see jp this user is jp is getting two recommendation that is uh, the product python book and c++ books because this user 
is interested in programming so it is not showing any products of fashion and the reading book so it is this is the personalized recommendation and here the user can be able to see the purchase history and if they wanted to purchase they can able to purchase it this is the content for example if you wanted to see what all the ratings are available you can see there is no no one has purchased it so there is it is empty now so now if you go to buy user can able to see the description what is that about and what is the price if you wanted to buy it you can just click buy it and it is purchased so this is a prototype so there is we are not going to click any keep any payment gateway here so this is consider that it is purchased so now the user can able to give the ratings so this user is giving the rating as it is a very good book for beginners So, so this user has given the command as it is a very good book for beginners and I'm giving the rating as 5 and click review. So it is the review has been entered and thanks for the reviews message and if you see the purchase history now you can see the this product has been per, this product name with the username and what is the rating given and what is the review given here also. So now let me log out from this point and let me go to the second user that is let me go to the Alice now. So in the Alice part you can see the recommendation that is only one recommendation given to this user because this user is a female the constraint is already set by the admin that this is the commerce product that is necklace is going to be shown to this user and you can see the purchase history and what how all the wanted to purchase it. So it is not showing the books for the this user and now let me log out and let me go to the final user that is the Bob user. So here in the Bob you can see the recommendation of the comic book so here because we have said this user has have, have the habit of reading books so we have said that ruler so according to the settings it has been recommending to this user that the comic book of the spider-man book so in this way you can the admin or the e-commerce admin can able to set up the rules and it will be personalizedly recommending the products to the user and the user can able to see the view and the ratings accordingly they can able to purchase it so I have shown you only a few sample you can add n number of products and different types of products and different set of users and interest with the age their gender their qualification their habit accordingly you can set up the rules and you can show the output accordingly so now let me log out and this is all about the project connecting social media to e-commerce using java and mysql and thank you for watching